Welcome. This is the uh, Algebra 1 end of course practice test number 2, question number 25. The question says, the graph below shows the relationship between the average number of visits per day to a particular website and time in months. Um, to the nearest 100 visits, what is the difference in the average number of website visits per day from the second month to the fifth month? There's a lot going on in this question. I'm going to try to bring up my little pen here. If it would just be nice and not stick to the wall, that would be grit. Uh, one of the big issues is that they want to know what is the average number of website visits per day. The nice thing is it looks like you're going to have to do extra math. You're really not. The question says, what is the average number of website visits per day? That would be your axis label for your uh, y value or your dependent variable. The independent variable is your month, of course. They want to know, to the nearest 100 visits, what is the difference in the average number of visits per day from the second month to the fifth month? So I'm going to have to go up and figure out what this value is. And then I'm on my 5, I'm going to have to go up and do this. I can say pretty confidently this is probably somewhere near 700. And of course it says the word difference, which means I'm going to do a subtraction. This one's probably at around 100. So I can say pretty confidently that the difference between the 5th month and the 2nd month is probably somewhere near 600. So the answer to number 25 is just C. Now don't get tripped up by all the wording. They give you a lot of information in this question. For it's a lot of it you didn't even need. Just make sure your labels match and then guesstimate the basic area where the the x needs to go so you can find your points and then just do a quick subtraction. This problem looks more complicated than it is. Don't let it trip you up.